All right, so angles formed by parallel lines and transversal, section 3.2. Again, if you remember what we did on Friday, the different types of angles, um, today should be pretty straightforward for us. Who can remember the pairs of angles we talked about Friday? What were some of the pairs of angles? There were... Corresponding angles. Yeah, we talked about corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles... We're going to talk about today in parallel lines. So if two parallel lines cut by a transversal, um, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. Okay? So if I have two lines, and those two lines are parallel, cut by this transversal here, then my corresponding angles are congruent. Okay? And congruent means they're going to be the same. So if you look there, my corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so corresponding angles um, on parallel lines are congruent. Now, congruent meaning they are the same. What other type of angles we talk about? Not just corresponding angles. We also talked about what, Trevor? Alternate interior. Alternate interior angles. And there was another one we talked about. What was the other one, Camden? Alternate exterior. Alternate exterior. And there was one last type of angles. Same this might have been the line. new one. Not same or line, same but same side. same side interior angles. There were same side interior angles. Awesome. Okay, so corresponding angles, always congruent. Knowing what we just learned, if I have these two lines, and I say, hey, those lines are parallel. I know that one's 110, that one's 70, and I'm going to label these other angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I label those other angles 1 through 6. I want to find some of the missing angles. Okay. Um, give me an angle you know and why you know that angle, Troy. Why is number one 70 degrees? So what's that? Those two angles are what then? What's the word? Not congruent. Well, they're congruent, but they're also, starts with a C. Corresponding angles. Thank you, sir. Yeah, angle one and angle 70, those are corresponding angles. So knowing what we just learned, they have to be 70. What's another one you know, Drew? Two is 110. Why is two 110? Vertical. vertical angles. And remember, vertical angles are always congruent. Nice job. Gabe, I saw you had a hand up. Which one do you know and why? Uh, four. Four is what? Why? It's congruent, but what's the word? Corresponding. corresponding. Those two angles would be corresponding angles. Nice job. Um, what's another one you know and why? Drew again. Five. What's five? It's why? Vertical. vertical angles. Boom. Four and five are vertical. So they have to be congruent. Vertical angles are always congruent. Okay, we have two more angles. Um, Nick, what's one of them? Uh, number three. Is what? 70. Why? Because it's vertical. Vertical is number one. Got to be 70. And the last angle is what then, Tina? Why? Yeah, vertical angles right there. Again, they can give me two angles, and I can find every other angle just knowing some of those postulates. Okay? And I just knew two things. I knew corresponding angles, and I knew vertical angles, and I got all of that. Number two, it only gives me one angle now. Okay, it gives me one angle. I want to find angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I want to find those seven angles. Give me one of the angles you know and why, Tyler. Why? Very good. Because it's on this line right here. If you look, I have a line. A line, those two angles form a linear pair, which are supplementary. Nice job. So that one has to be 125 degrees. What's another angle you know and why, Anna? What's six? Why? What's it vertical to? It is vertical, but what's it vertical to? So what's angle five then? And why you know angle five is 55? Uh, well, I'm going to say how about that. Those two angles are what? 
corresponding angle. So you were one step ahead, but you were right. Those are all both 55. Nice job. Uh, give me another one you know, Peyton. What? Give me an angle you know and why. Why? Vertical. vertical right there. Nice job. Give me another angle you know, Jersey. Why? Vertical angles right there. Give me another one you know, Boger. Why? But number four then is what? Nice job. Again, knowing two things, vertical and corresponding angles, I can find all of those different angles. It's a little slow today. It's all right. It's coming. There we go. So same idea here. I want to use corresponding angles to find some of these missing angles. So number three, I have an angle there that's 67 degrees, and I want to find the measure of angle one. What do you suppose the measure of angle one might be? Keegan? That one says 67 right there. So what's angle one? 67 degrees. And why is it 67 degrees? Because those two angles are? Corresponding. Okay. Number four. I'm giving this angle is 142. Well, that means X has to be how many degrees, Jessica? And why are they 142 both? Because they are what type of angles? Huh? Corresponding? Yes, good job. Well, now comes a little bit tougher type problems. I'm given 3X plus 23 and 4x. Now, if I, as I look at those angles, what type of angles are they, Ryan? Corresponding angles. Now, I see the corresponding angles. My lines are parallel. So knowing they're parallel, my corresponding angles are congruent. So how can I solve for x there? What do I have to do with those two expressions? Set them equal to each other. Nice job. So 3x plus 23 equals 4x. I set them equal to each other because they are congruent. They are the same. Okay, corresponding angles there in parallel lines, they're the same. Set them equal to each other. I subtract 3x, giving me 23 equals, what's 4x minus 3x, Troy? Which is just x. So x equals 23. Now I need to go back and solve for the answer. It says find the measure of angle ABC. So I plug that in right up there for angle ABC. 4 times 23 gets me an angle of how many, how many degrees, Max? 4 times 23? Ninety-two degrees is correct. Nice job. Try number six on your own now. All right, let's look at this here. Number six. Uh, when you solve for number six, where do you get x to equal, Jack? X equals twenty-five. I take that and plug it back in for MPQ, right there, and I get an angle measure of how many degrees? Then Tom. 125 degrees is correct. Nice job. Now we talked about corresponding angles. Now we're going to talk about alternate interior and alternate exterior angles. Okay. So same idea here. If my lines are parallel, so if parallel lines cut by transversal, then the following pairs of angles are also congruent. So for example, alternate interior angles are congruent and alternate exterior angles are congruent, okay? So that's the part, you know, same just like corresponding angles. It's this next one that's gonna probably throw you for the loop. It's same side interior angles. Same side interior angles are not congruent. Same side interior angles are actually supplementary, which mean they add to 180. 
Okay, that is the one difference. Supplementary angles, or sorry, same side interior angles are supplementary, meaning they add to 180. Okay, now if we backtrack here and look back at what we did earlier, you know, we did number one up here, and we said that one was 110. So there's an example of same side interior angles. 110 plus 70 got us 180 degrees. Okay, they were supplementary. That's the one that's going to throw you for a curve. Same side interior, we do not set equal to each other. One difference to recognize. Okay, you set those, add them up, set them equal to 180. Um, well, you could still be the same thing. This would be 125, and that would be 55, which would still be 180. Okay. Oh, there we go. So number seven. I have RST is what I need to find here. I'm given this angle is 138. What is X in degrees then? It's 138. And why is it 138, Nick? What postulate? <laughs> was it? Those are not corresponding angles. Those are, those are alternate exterior angles, or AEA if you want to abbreviate. Those are examples of alternate exterior angles because they're on the outside and they're on different sides of that line. Alternate exterior angles. What about number 8 here? Well, I'm given A plus 28 and 2A. What type of angles are those two angles? Uh, Trevor, what type of angles are those? Those are? Those are alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent. So I'm gonna set those two expressions equal to each, to each other. So 2A equals A plus 28. From there, I solve for A. What do I get A to equal Catherine? Very good. A equals 28. And then I plug that right back in for my expression. 28 plus 28 gets me an angle of how many degrees, Jack? 56 degrees is correct. Nice job, sir. All right, last two. Try these two on your own. Now take note. Number 10, what type of angles are number 10? Those are same side interior. So I'm gonna set those equal to what? 180. Make sure you know that. Don't set those equal to each other. Set them equal to 180. Okay, solve these out. All right, number nine now. As you look at this, you set them equal to each other. So 5y equals 2y plus 78. You solve for y, you get y to equal what jersey? You get y to equal what jersey? Camden? Three. Y equals three? Wait. No, that's not. No, y is not equal three. What? Y equals twenty-six. Oh, I'm gonna say wait. Sorry. You subtract 2y to get like you 3y. Yeah, that's... I got you there. You get 3y equals 78, and then y equals 26. Now, I'm going to take that and plug that back in for what it wants me to get here. So 5 times 26 gets me an angle of what, Austin? 130 degrees. Nice work. My bad, people. And then the next one. Now, this is the one that we're same side interior. Same side interior adds up and equals 180. So I get n... So I say here, 3n minus 47 plus n plus 7 equals 180. I take my two expressions, add it together, and set them equal to 180. When I work it out, I get n equals what, Caitlin? Uh, n equals 55. I get n to equal 55. I then plug n in to find my missing angle there. And my missing angle is how many degrees, Caitlin? 118 degrees. Now, question here for you. If that one's 118 degrees, what's my other angle have to be? 62 degrees is correct. Nice job. Because those two are supplementary.
See, I did the work for that. I just. I got you. Here you go. Here is your assignment.